Yeah, it's a, it's a strange thing for me because I am a French guy, but it's a great opportunity uh, to, uh, to come with uh, Australia and to play the World Cup in France. And uh, we are ready to, uh, to start. It's a very long day today and tomorrow it will be a long day because we are going to play at 6 uh, p.m. But um, the boys are focused about uh, this game, this first game against Georgia. But uh, yeah, we, uh, we need to play now. It's, uh, it was long, the preparation was very long, very, very long. There's a difference between, between France and Australia. In France, uh, the rugby is very, very important. There is no rugby league or footy in France, you know. Uh, but uh, the people are waiting for this World Cup because they think uh, France, uh, France uh, can, can win, uh, win uh, this World Cup uh, this year because they have a very strong team. But uh, we, uh, we want to compete uh, in this competition. And, uh, I am very excited. To, uh, to come with uh, the OC here, and uh, I'm very proud to, uh, to play the, the World Cup with uh, Australia because uh, I discovered the country, the beautiful country, and uh, the good boys, we have a good boys. We need now uh, tough players on the pitch, but uh, they, uh, they are ready to, uh, to play against uh, Georgia and the other team uh, during the World Cup. And it is a, a culture of the forward packs. Uh, a lot of props uh, of Georgia played in France or played in France now. Uh, but they, they develop very well the rugby in Georgia. And uh, the example of uh, Nanash Bidi. Nanash Bidi is a fullback of uh, Georgia. It's a great example. They can play. Uh, uh, a game with the forward and the backs now is different. And I know very well Joe Worsley, the defense coach. He was my defense coach in cast. I know very well him. He's a great, uh, very good uh, defense coach. One of the best in the world, I think. And, uh, but the Georgian is uh, very important for Georgia to play in Paris. It's the first time in Stade de France in, the, during, in front of the full, uh, full crowd. And, uh, but it's the same thing for us. We want to, uh, to play tomorrow and uh, against Georgia or another team is not a problem. Question for any of you, but the captain's run, obviously, it's always quite light, but you can get through. Okay, the right. Yeah, everyone's sweet. It was yeah, quite light, but yeah, it was a good session, good final head out before tomorrow. Yeah. Um, we haven't actually gone out for any dinners, but it's more just like having coffees with each other around the hotel. Um, yeah, obviously there's some things. Obviously we have a you know great background coach in, in Dan Palmer, and, and he sort of initiates a lot of it. But then there's also there's times where we just meet as a group and you know chat about the game and how we're feeling, you know how we can add to the group. Um, I think that's really important, and I think we're all on the same page come coming tomorrow. So yeah, we're all super excited. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, we're all very young. Well, I think 22 to 25, so we're all super close in age and um, played a lot of footy together as well, which is which is cool. Um, you know, so we get along really well. The um, yeah, I suppose in terms of outside interests, yeah, we do. We have you know, get along with our family and friends really well, and for us, it's about just coming together really well and connecting. Because obviously, there's going to be players that aren't picked. Um, you know, and the caliber of our back row group is is quite high and. For us, it's about training really hard together, um, pushing each other really hard as well, because that's how we can get better. And then once we step off the field, we're mates again, and, and we can just talk and be normal. And you said, um, with bringing you into the squad, that he, he really wanted to see a few things in your game. You elaborate, but you know, did he, I guess, did he wanted more from you? As in my game? Yeah. Um, I suppose you've got to ask him. I'm not too sure. I think he's just... Um, wanted me to improve in, in every facet of the game, I suppose, and um, you know through training and, and through that competitiveness of you know in games and in training, just to take 
what I can, what I've done in Super and post test, take it to another level. Yeah, I think um, there's something like seven Queenslanders in the Masso 23, and I think we're probably blessed that um, we've had a fair few tough pre-seasons in some pretty ridiculous heat. Um, that on top of that um, prep week that we had in Darwin where it was pretty hot, pretty humid, quite similar to a day like today, yeah, I think it's definitely put us in good stead and good preparation for these early pool games before it starts cooling off later on in the competition. Yeah, definitely. I think it was a bit of a shock for a few of us, so we um, got off at the train station in Paris, so it was quite a big crowd and um, a lot of security, a lot of police, that kind of thing. Um, in Saint Etienne, like, I think people are aware that the World Cup's on, but it's not so much in your face. It's a nice, quiet, rural sort of area, so I think the boys do enjoy that, um, sort of getting away from it as much as you can. Because I think, yeah, over the, over the length of the competition, um, it might, the pressure and um, media and all that sort of stuff may get to a few of the guys, so I think us being based away from it all is quite helpful in that respect. Um, he instills a lot of confidence. Obviously, we're a, we're a young group, but um, we've been together for quite a quite a while, and um, uh, we we get along really well off the field. So I think that sort of puts us together. But um, yeah, we've been putting a lot of work on the training pitch, constantly progressing, and I think we're as ready as ever for tomorrow night against Georgia. Um, every game for us in this competition is like a grand final. You don't really see teams get to the um, World Cup final dropping more than one game. So for us, every game is as important as the next. Do you, um, have you guys got an idea in mind about what you want to get out of tomorrow night? I mean, obviously, you win, but you kind of want to make a real statement, or are you happy just to keep building, I suppose, and just, yeah, how do you see the um, I think, you know, Eddie's touched on it throughout the week, and a few people have. Um, in terms of what a good World Cup you know, sort of looks like as you build each week and you, and you build that momentum. So obviously for us, we want to win and, and we want to come out. We're super confident in the way we've prepared. It's been, you know, it's been tough, it's been gruelling preparation. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure, um, you know, going out there and, you know, win by 30 would be nice. But for us, I think we're just happy about building on the foundations that we sort of have put, been put into us for the past five games and past, you know, eight, nine weeks training. So I think that's probably what we saw um, more sort of after is that is that foundation building and being able to just slightly increase our game week in week out. Nah, no, he, he, yeah, he was out of the picture sort of well before I was born. He, uh, I think he played in that sort of first Bledisloe series Australia one in like the thirties. So, yeah, uh, he, he was gone well before I sort of came around. Yeah, um, mum, dad and my brother will all be here at some stage. Uh, my brother's doing a little trip actually with um, Fraser's brother. They get along quite well. Um, and then, yeah, mum and dad uh, will be at the game tomorrow night. Can you see, is that the case that the family Yeah, I think um, one thing that um, the RA and the Wallaby staff are really good at is um, the family connection side of it. So. Um, they're really accommodating to family that are travelling over here and making sure that they're involved with the players as much as possible. Fraser, for yourself, you've played some big games, you know, in the 21, 80 final of the Reds, test debut. Where does a World Cup debut, when you go to a stage like this compared to you, you have time to think about sort of what it means to play in the first round, start in the first World Cup game? Yeah, obviously it's, it's pretty special, hey? Like, I remember watching all the 2015, 2011 games with my family and obviously being a bit closer to sort of the professional game in 2019, it's just all, it's all pretty special, pretty different. Um, and being here hasn't really hit yet. Um, I feel like now that we've sort of come into Paris from where we're staying in Saint Etienne, it's you can feel the, the building up of, of the tension of the of the media of the, of the spectacle that World Cup is. You know, first game kicking off tonight. Super excited just to watch some footy. Um, yeah, obviously it's it's really special and. and um, in terms of the big game, you know, Eddie, Eddie always you know, tries to instill in us that it's, it, is, it is special, um, but for us, we've got a job to do and it's pretty, 
it's pretty simple our job in terms of what we have to do and go out there. We've got to try to block out everything and just focus on our job and, and do our job really well. So um, for me, I'm trying to put it in a different perspective. I'm going to enjoy the enjoy it. Um, you know, Slips has been to four and he says, um, try not to just let it blow past you. Try to enjoy every moment. Um, so for, for me, I'm trying to enjoy every moment, every little thing I'm doing here. Um, and then, you know, when, when I cross our white line and when the whistle blows, just try to block everything out and just rip in. Yeah, um, oh, for, for me personally, it's breakdown sort of um, just shutting it down, so making sure they're not getting pressure on the ball. I think set piece is huge for us. We want to lay a good platform for scrum, for line out, and um, also our malls, so I think that's pretty imperative for us. <laughs> Did he? No. Uh, you can. You can. <laughs> Just ask him. <laughs> um, no, oh, there's been some moments, but no, nothing too too major. I think it's funny. Like I don't really like expect any anything like that from him. I think he's he's pretty good at keeping people level and keep keep them grounded. But then also he knows. I think the right time when to pump pump people's tyres up really well. I think that's sort of the experience of, that he has been around for so long and I'm probably not the only person getting it. There's, you know, everyone in the, in the group's getting it at different times and I definitely wouldn't say I'm a rock sound far from it, so yeah, stay away from that. Last couple of things, guys. Just want to get you for well record. Um, Australia had a very good track record in the World Cup, but you were very, as you said, you were very empty now. But is it good to you to be like to see as the underdogs? Um, <clears throat> I think it's an interesting one. Um, it, obviously, a lot of us have, are only coming to our first World Cup this year. Um, it's a, probably, you'd say, historically the most highly contested one. But you probably debate that um, one through to eight could go anywhere, you know. So um, for us, it's, yeah, I don't know, hard to say. I think I wouldn't say we're underdogs. I'd say we're confident in our ability. Um, and we're, we're keen on taking it as far as we um, possibly can. Outside of the results, what is it that will make you go bigger, job done, when you play the game? This week? Um, I think if everyone nails their individual roles, which is a really basic thing for us, um, for me it's obviously set-piece orientated. They've got a really strong forward pack. Um, Jordans are renowned for their scrummaging, so if guys nail their individual roles, I think that end picture will look after itself. Time for one or more, if there's anything else. Happy? Uh, one question. Where are you watching the game tonight and who are you cheering for? In the room. Yeah, yeah it'll, it'll just be back at the hotel, probably on the projector in the team room. Um, yeah. Impartial. I'll just, I, I enjoy watching. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have a uh, favourite in that result. Tough game. It's yeah. very late. <laughs> what so, about you, Fro? It's very late and we need to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs>